The car is an iconic entity in life today. In Ford, it's perhaps one of the most well-known icons in the world. And now as we move into this mobility space, that challenge just becomes better as the vehicle continues to become the nexus of this new connected world. We move people like we've always wanted to move, but in a brand new way. Hello, my name is Abraham Phillip. I oversee connected vehicle and services for the Europe, Middle East, Africa, and Russia markets. And we are excited to be here in Paris, inside the Eiffel Tower for the 2017 Make It Drivable Challenge. So this year, we went on a city tour again. Last year, we hit a number of countries. This year, we hit up nine. We met hundreds of developers. Thousands of emails were sent. We were very restrictive around who we were going to accept. We really whittled it down that from our perspective, the best of the best are here, get access to what we're doing, and, and potentially have the ability to work with us beyond this event. We've been working with Ford for the last four months to find the most exciting startups. We've been to nine countries. We've looked at about 200 startups. We have companies from more than 10 countries. So we're here in Paris hosting the Developers Challenge, but it's actually a multicultural, multi-country event. We have developers from Israel, from Turkey, from London, from Paris, from Berlin. You can see a different kind of understanding of different cultural um, challenges from different markets. So we had teams from Turkey where you know, they're dealing with challenges in Istanbul, which is one of the most congested cities in the world, to you know, local teams from Paris. So we're using our machine learning technology to basically suggest you podcast. Our company is developing System I. System I is able to identify risky drivers and then inform the rest of the drivers on the road about potential threat so they can avoid having an accident. This year we've got a number of different uh, new elements. So on top of the actual traditional challenge that we have, i.e. hackathon, we also have mentorships, so startups can get access to executive mentors from Ford and external. And then we also have focus groups. So literally, real focus groups, real customers. And we were able to pitch to them and get real-time feedback on what they thought about the app and what they thought about the idea and, and how they might use it, what concerns they had. Um, so there are some solutions out there where you can listen to podcasts, but it's a hassle, that planet. And after she <laughs> heard the messages, Eleanor can reply with... Traditionally, OEMs are 100 plus year old companies that are very big and that um, have a lot of requirements. Startups are dynamic, are quick, are want to move fast. And so what we do and what our group does in a way is the bridge. We are the bridge between the startup community and obviously the possibilities of where Ford and this startup can actually connect. The events that I've been to at Ford have actually been really exciting because they bring together a cross-section of industries, of people from different backgrounds, of big companies, startups. And I very much believe that it is the kind of future collaboration that will make a future that we can all be part of to help us move through cities in the future. On the software side, we want to be agile. We want to be flexible. We want to respond very quickly to our customers' needs. And so we know that Ford is not going to create all of the solutions ourselves. We will need to work with partners. It's been another incredible Appling challenge. So, look out in 2018, we may actually be coming to your town. <laughs>